good afternoon yeah i probably should have said good morning but this is friday the 12th <laughs> and yes it is the afternoon i've got up this morning been lazy this morning i did wash my hair i just got finished blow drying it curling it put a little makeup on because me and keith is going out on a date night with our neighbors and we're getting to take joshua Joshua called last night and wanted to come spend the night with his mama and papa. So of course we said yes. So I'm not for sure. I want to talk with his mom and dad to make sure it's okay to put them on camera. And if it is, I will, I will show them on the blog. Now I probably will not show our date night unless it's just Joshua or me. Because <laughs> our neighbors, I don't think they'd feel comfortable or I don't feel comfortable telling them or asking them. But anyway, guys, I wanted to show you something. I told you last time that I had got something in the cro that will change your crochet world if you crochet or knit. And so, and then we're gonna have a little porch talk, yes. Okay, guys, this is a yarn winder that Keith got me. Or I got me, we got me, whatever, I got it. But anyway, this is so neat. Okay, I've got my skinny yarn. I've got the end pulled out of the end here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around back here. I'm going to pull this yarn thing up here. Do the same thing. And then right here, I need to pull a little bit of this back. Okay. So you only need about an inch on this other, there's got two little divots here. And you're going to go like this. And then you're gonna kind of hold the tension on your yarn, just barely, and then you're going to just roll. Guys, watch, look at this. And then once you get going, guys, look at this. And this will hold a whole big skein of yarn. Ah! I told y'all it was magical. Oh my gosh, it is so much easier. Finish it up a little bit. There we go. It's finished. So what I do is I take this end and I just tuck it in over here somewhere. Like that. And then you just I cut it kind of like this. And then I pulled up and I have my yarn cake. Is that not neat? Okay, so that is my yarn wander, guys. So this is our official first porch time talk. I had asked in one of my last vlogs if y'all would want to see a porch time, have a porch time. I've got my drink here. Now, I don't know how long it is to last because it's a little, it's a little humid out here. It's been like wanting to rain, not rain sun, you know, you know how it goes. So, and I had plenty of people say they did want a porch time. So I thought I would do the first one. I have my Dye Pepsi right here and showed y'all the yarn winder. Got, and that can just start off the first topic here, time. Where does it go? Doing that reminds me of my mom. I don't know how many, how many balls of yarn I've seen her wind with her arm, with her, with her fingers on a little piece of, uh, either the, what the crochet, that paper that come around the crochet thread, or even a little piece of scrap paper that she had somewhere that she would wrap into a ball. I don't know how many of those I've seen her do. Because there wasn't none of these things around there. If there was, I never knew about it, and she didn't know about it. And she had five kids on a, on a farm, so she couldn't afford it, and she probably would have knew about it. But I wish I would have known about it when she was alive, because I sure would have got her one, because, oh my gosh, it's like how where did the time go it just seems like yesterday i was a child at home there's childhood memories i can remember and then i can remember getting married i remember having my kids i remember it was such a rat race you know because i got married we got married me and keith got married so young it wasn't a shotgun wedding we were just young and foolish i guess but i'll do it all over again this june the 19th will be 42 years and uh but I remember it being such a rat race because we were so young. You know, we didn't go to college. And so it was a struggle, you know, you, just to support a family even back then. I can't imagine now, but, uh, but make sure, you know, they had a ha the roof over their head. They had food, you know, you have your regular bills, you have car, you know, you know, the regular life. And you get so caught up in it. 
and your children are young and you're saying, well, okay, well, next year, I won't have to worry about daycare because they'll be in school. I won't have to worry about that for daycare for afterwards. And then you just go on next year, next year, and you don't realize that, or I didn't as a young mom when I was young and Keith was young, that to stop a little bit, stop and smell the roses, stop and enjoy those children while you can because they're not gonna always, before you know it, you're gonna look up, you're gonna come home from the last one's wedding and you're going to, then you're going to, it's going to come to you that both of your kids are married and out of the house and on their own. And there you go. And, and then, you know, you just go on with different seasons of your life and you go through the empty mess season. And, and then now to the season I'm in, it's like, and you wonder, I wonder sometimes, let me get more comfortable. This chair is not the most comfortable. I have to make people need a good rocking chair for these four times. <laughs> but then you wonder if you would do if you, if you go back, would you do anything different? Would you would you make more time when your kids were little? Would you do this here different? This different? And I know I would be married again. I love Keith. We we grew up together more or less, and everything else. So that part I'm not questioning. I'm just questioning the part, like you know with rushing through the, your children's childhood, you know, trying to struggle and make sure you, they're, they're, you know, they're close. Like I said, every, their necessities are took care of and that they have fun and they feel loved. And you always want to make it one step better than what you were. You know, like your parents wanted you to have it better than they did. And then you as a parent wanted your children to have it better than you did. And then I think that's part of the problem, but that's a whole another story for another time, for another porch shop. But, so here comes the car, guys. So like I said, I'm outside of the port. It is porch time. So we're going to have cars that interrupt. They're going to turn next door. So maybe it won't be so loud. But so anyway, and I think back, I don't think we would. Because each season of life brings different memories, brings different decisions, brings different parts of your life to you. I mean, like when you're a child, you're a child. You don't even think about as a, real, a little child, you don't think about bills. You don't think about where those groceries come from. You don't think about all that. You just know your mom and dad's gonna take care of it. If you were blessed, I was blessed to grow up in a family like that. I was blessed. I know there's some kids that doesn't. So I do feel extremely blessed. And then as you get older, you know, you wanna get married, you wanna do all the, and then go and start going towards high school. You start thinking about your future. And I, and I, we, I met Keith and, you know, I had a couple other boyfriends. Not, not really. I remember. I still remember my first love. Thought I was going to die when we broke up. Oh my gosh! Look back. It's like, oh my gosh. But anyway, so what I was see, I take all these squirrel tra uh, uh, trails, guys. I do. So, but anyway, and so then after you get out, that's the, then I got married. So I was in that season of life, and then found that November. I got married in June. That fall of November, I got pregnant. So then, my Lynn was born the day my senior year started, and I was I had to have an emergency C-section. So I was homebound for eight weeks, and I can remember there was an issue with this homebound or something. I can't remember my mom chewing out this principal up and down, and but she got her way. I did get to do homebound, but uh, I was a straight A student anyway. So they made arrangement because the truck. They made an arrangement with my best friend to bring in all my assignments, and I would just do them. I didn't need a lot of instruction, and I'm not bragging at all because uh, I was just blessed in that way. Um, I got like a, I got like what you call a uh, photogenic memory. So if I see something, if I can remember, I, I kind of remember it. I wish I still had it, because it, it goes away as you get older. This is a busy little road. You don't realize it till you get out here and try to do a porch time. There goes another one. Okay, y'all, they're being very rude. I'll have to put up a sign, porch time filming. <laughs> but, uh, so, Anyway, see, I need that photogenic memory now. So that's how I did my homebound. And so then I went back and I finished my senior year. Thanks to Keith's mom. My mom worked and my dad worked outside the home. His mom didn't. So she kept Lynn while well, I finished high school. I don't know what I would have done looking back at Hatton. I thought there's no way we could have paid daycare for him at that. I mean, there was just no way. And so after 
then after I graduate, I graduated the 13th of my class of 93 at Honors National Honor Society. So I think I did a lot of my dad just swore I would not finish school once I got pregnant. You won't finish school. I'm going, yes, I will. And I and I did it, I think, to prove them. You tell me I don't can't do something, you watch and show, I'll show you. But anyway, I did, and I was, I'm so proud I did. Afterwards, I stayed home for a while. I went to work at a TV factory that my dad uh, worked at for a while. Then I go back home and stay home for a while. And then after Lynn was 18 months old, I think it's when I got pregnant with Kayla. And then I don't think I worked during my pregnancy. I'm almost sure I didn't. I'm almost sure I didn't. And so I had her. And then I know I stayed home for a good 18 months. And Keith was in the oil field at that time. Well, when the oil field crashed in 85, right after Kayla was born, so I guess 86 or 87, I guess, maybe whenever it crashed, <laughs> we crashed with it because that's Keith was in the oil field. It was good while it lasted. And then, uh, so then the rat race starts, you know, I go to work and then once I go to work, I don't stop working until, uh, it's been, let's see, 12 years ago is when I think when I stopped working. And that's in a whole nother porch time story too. And, uh, and so it was just a rat race, making sure, like I said, the kids were taken care of and all that. So you just have different, all this to say, we all go through different seasons of life. And if I looking back, it all started with saying, if, if I knew they'd had this yarn winder when my mom was alive, when she, when she was older, and I thought I would have bought it for her. Oh, to see the smile on her face. Oh my gosh, to see the smile on her face. I lost her in 2012. And once you lose your mom, I'm telling you, it's just something about your mom. When you lose your mom, it's just something about you changes. I don't know. <laughs> But, and I lost my dad in 2017, and that was hard too. Uh, losing your dad, it's just as hard. I'm not saying it's not hard when you lose your dad, but it's different. It was different for me, in a way. It was different for me. It could be opposite for some people. It may be, you know, but anyway, it was different. Still miss him terribly. But, and then, like I said, when your kids grow up, did you start having grandchildren? I have six beautiful grandchildren, and I have one a great grandchild but when you start having grandchildren oh my gosh your world changes but not only do you have the stress if you're someone that wants to if you're someone who wants to fix everybody's problems and you're someone that wants to make sure your kids or your grandchildren don't hurt don't you know want to fix everything you you get caught up in this rat race trying to do that trying to fix everything trying to make sure everybody's happy and you just get all into the spider web and stuff and, and meanwhile life is going by life is going by and then one day you look up and it's like oh my gosh i got two i've got a grandchild graduating that's where it was last year when maddie graduated now this year i've got two graduating i'm, I'm a great grandmother now and it's like where did the time go it's like before you realize it, people don't, I know my mom and dad always said the same thing. Y'all gonna, y'all gonna see how time flies. Cause I remember as a child, do y'all remember when it was Christmas? After Christmas was over, you felt kind of sad because it was a whole year till Christmas came again. And now does it not feel like you just get finished with Christmas and Christmas is back around? Same thing with your birthday. Oh my gosh, time flies now. And, but you tell your children, you try to convey to your children what my, parents tried to convey to me when they were in this season but they're not going to understand it until they go through that season of life and so I think that's what I was trying to get around to saying all this time is that you know what different seasons bring different thoughts different parts of your heart different parts of your mind and the ways you think and ways that you don't think and until you go through it yourself it's like until you walk into those shoes you don't really know that's the same thing a lot until you walk through you're what God has for you and, and and go through and I'm still going through and you don't understand and but but anyway that was the subject for today's porch time was was time it does fly by it does fly by 
So what do y'all think? Do y'all think the same thing? What, what season are you in? I'm in the, re we're almost, almost completely into the retirement season. Keith has a little over two years and praise the Lord, he'll be able to retire and we'll be, we will be retired. Uh, and, uh, I am so looking forward to that. So that's the season that we're in. I'm in the, I'm in my late fifties. So is Keith. And it's a total different season. You get there for you realize it, but you learn to accept it. It's okay. You know, God's going to get you through. God got you through this far. He's going to get you through to, to, to he wants you home. And let's see. So anyway, that is what I want to discuss today was time. I don't, I won't know until I edit this how much noise these vehicles cause. That's here comes a big one. Friendly, but big truck. <laughs> Uh, so I mean, I, I won't know, but I don't think they would they would take heed to my signs if I put it porch time being them, no traffic, no through traffic. I don't think they would they would go by. I don't think they would. I think they would just run over my side. <laughs> Cause here comes another one. Oh my gosh! But at least that was not a big one. But anyway, I won't know until I edit how much of the background noise, how bad it is, and if this ever even sees light. It may be so bad that I don't even get to put this up. But I hope y'all enjoy or in, are able to enjoy our first porch time. So, and hopefully we can continue with these porch times and I can make sure I get the right time where there's not so much traffic. Cause I don't think school's out yet. I'm on my phone, so I can't tell what time it is. <laughs> so I'm recording not on my phone, I'm recording on my phone. And anyway, guys, I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend and I hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day weekend. By the time you see this, it'll already Mother's Day would have already passed. But I hope you had a wonderful Mother's Day weekend. And I will see you next time. Bye.